Hey guys, you know, earlier th today I did a live stream talking about, well, a lot of things going on with uh, MLP and, you know, it's apparent final season. Now, a lot of people were tweeting out about it, people that worked on the show or are currently working on the show, people that actually helped create the show, like Lauren Faust tweeting out about it. But Jim Miller came out and basically teased at the fact that season nine overall was going to be a huge season. In other words, they were going to go out with a bang, in his, in his uh, opinion. They were going to go out with a bang. And I honestly can't say that I don't blame him if they want to do that. However, he did mention something. He mentioned there were going to be some big revelations. Now, I could have talked about some of these during the live stream, but it does, uh, it does bear repeating. In fact, I'm going to give you four four revelations that need to occur. If I go five, well, there'll be a reason. But let's take a look at the first one that should uh, be revealed or should be uh, taken care of in this season. Now, the first one that needs to be taken care of in this season, I'm just going to come out and say it, and I'm sure everybody would agree, is Spike and Rarity. There is no doubt that disparity shippers are happy at the fact that Spike and Rarity somewhat got the spotlight in Best Gift Ever. Mostly the fact that the closing song, True Gift to Giving, was started by Spike, and it was started out mostly as a love song, to Rarity, basically expressing how he truly feels about her, indicating that, you know, he f cares about her more than just as a friend. And, like I've said, if you take a look at the close details in that moment, Rarity does have the traditional romantic stars in her eyes and everything, and just the way it's developed kind of tells you that this is what they want to go with. That they want to go in this direction. Heck, I even said in the live stream that I would not be surprised if Lauren Faust originally wanted to try to get these two together with the start of, with the episode of Secret of My Excess kind of being the starting point. But now, with season nine around, and the fact that we had that moment in C in Best Gift Ever, which was sort of a season eight point five episode or special. It does beg the question, will it be capitalized on? Will it be officially acknowledged? And I believe this is one of the four that I truly think needs to be capitalized on. They need to basically address this once and for all. A lot of fans, whether they support it or they don't, or they're kind of mixed about it, all agree this has to be acknowledged. This has to be made official somehow some way because why would you go and do what you did in best gift ever and even hint about it in season eight with breakup breakdown do the episode that you did with meltdown where they both went through something at the same time kind of had little moments easter eggs hinted at in the season finale especially with rarity helping Spike get the letter from Celestia out of his system. Why go that route? And then, like I say, do what you did with Best Gift Ever if you weren't planning to probably go a little further. If not, maybe make this official. To me, this has to be addressed, and it has to be addressed in Season 9, end of story. And I'm sure a lot of people would agree with me on that. The fourth thing that has to be addressed, or the second thing I think should be addressed, is Big Mac and Sugar Bell. Now, the reason I bring this up is because you've been basically teasing this for almost two seasons now. You put them together and it's hard to say anything. You basically focus an episode on them 
this past season. You have moments in best gift ever. So, where do you go from here? If this is the last season, and one of the things Jim Miller points out is we're supposed to end on a grand conclusion. Well, here's what I think has to be done. Here's what I think has to be done. I think what they need to do, revelation-wise, is reveal that Big Mac and Sugar Bell are engaged and are primed to be married. Not only that, but at the same time, they need to reveal that not only do they plan to get married, but Big Mac plans to move to Sugar Bell's town to start an apple farm there to supply people with apples, food, and everything so they don't have to wait for the next pony or creature to come to the town and deliver them food, or they have to take the freaking train to Ponyville or Cantalot to get food. They have to do that. As a matter of fact, Silverquill mentioned this in his recent video. So I definitely believe they need to go this route. They need to go this route. This has to be the second revelation that, that gets touched upon. This has to be revealed. This has to, the revelation is they have to come out and tell everyone, including Applejack, and you could do a whole episode on this with Applejack and even Marvel Pie, for goodness sake, that these two are now to get that these two, Sugar Bell and Big Mac, are going to get married, and because of that, Big Mac also plans to move away. Do an episode that basically sets that up. Sets that revelation up. And really, you know, gets built upon later on in the season. Mostly probably at the end of the season. So to me, that right there, to me, in my opinion, my opinion, should be the second thing in that gets revealed as far as these big revelations are concerned. The third revelation that needs to be made and I don't think I mentioned this but the third revelation that needs to be made is Celestial Luna's origin we have waited almost a decade a worth almost a decade for something to be revealed we always get a small hint and glimpse here and there but we never get anything in, um, satisfactorized. We never get anything that will basically be an explanation of, oh, this is where how Celestia and Luna came to be as alicorns. This is how they became, came to be as the risers of the sun and the moon. We don't have any origin of how they came to be. The only connection we have is Star Swirl, and even with Star Swirl, you know, we don't get much of an answer. So I think, and a lot of people will agree upon this, the third thing that needs to be revealed in Season 9, and hopefully they're going to do it, is Celestia and Luna's origins. Are they born naturally alicorns? Are they naturally born alicorns? Or did they go through the same thing that Cadence and Twilight went through. We need to have that revelation made. It has to be made. Because honestly, this here can only get you so far. This here can only get you so far. You need to give us more information than what this book's giving us. Because even now, when you look at Season 6's premiere, any information in this book got thrown out the window. We need more information. More information. And hopefully... That's the third thing that gets revealed. Alright. 
the fourth thing that needs to be revealed here. As crazy as this sounds, we're going to go right back to AJ and we're going to say you need to reveal what happened to her parents. Because honestly, there are fans that still believe her parents are alive, but we don't know where. You see, you can't just hint and indicate that, yeah, something happened to them, but yet the kids don't know? And here's what's funny about this. Applejack, Big Mac, were there when Sweetie Be uh, Apple Bloom got born. So they know who their parents are, but they don't know much about them. You know, thankfully, Perfect Pair helped answer some of those questions, but still, we don't know what happened. And if they don't know what happened, and, I mean, come on, honestly. They don't even indicate that they know something happens. Well, they, they do indicate. Well, you get the idea. They, the thing is, we don't know what happened. We need a follow-up. You know, I know it's a show originally meant for kids. But you can't just do an episode like The Perfect Pair and not give us a follow-up. I think that freaking ending credit, ending scene that Lily Orchard... Lily Pete put up when he did, when she did, uh, when he, she did um, their Perfect Pair in Five Minutes episode last year, or well, back in season seven, they basically, that scene right there basically said the whole thing. That can't be it. And even though Perfect Pair is probably one of the best episodes in the history of this show, there's got to be more to it. And I'm hoping the revelation happens this year. I'm hoping it's either revealed that this is why they passed on. This is how they passed on. Maybe something happens to, to Sugar Bell and Big Mac and they get cured. But we find out that's kind of what happened to, to the parents and they didn't get cured. We need something. Maybe it's a connection with Grogar. Maybe they got captured and they're enslaved. We don't know. But I think the fourth one that needs to be touched upon, needs to be touched upon, is what happened to Applejack's parents. That's what needs to be touched upon. We need an answer. Are they still alive but trapped and kept prisoner? What? We need an answer. And I think that's a revelation that needs to be made. Hopefully, that gets addressed this year, too. But, yeah, those are the four things that I think need to be really addressed. I mean, I know um, there will be other things that need to be addressed and hopefully revealed, but they, they need to go and reveal those four, absolutely. Um, if they do reveal that, you know, Equestria Girls... Equestria and Friendship Equestria, Friendship is Magic Equestria are one and the same and Equestria Girls is in the future, I mean in the past and Friendship is in the future that'd be something too but those four that I just addressed I think are the primary ones they need to really look into um, in the future so especially for the season so that's all I'm going to say guys let me know what you all think do you agree with my thoughts on that uh, let me know what four big revelations you hope get revealed and I'll talk to y'all later.